Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, I thought I'd continue the series of how to quickly make any photo Instagram worthy by taking random boring photos that I took and actually making them look worth posting online. But before we get started, check out this awesome product from A Shampoo. A Shampoo Backup Pro 14 backs up your data and operating system automatically to all common storage types and cloud services. Always up to date backups take the fear out of hardware failure, OS issues, or malware infections. Don't miss my demo and review of Backup Pro 14. Plus, learn more and download your free trial by clicking the links in the description below. Okay, everyone. I already got the photo that we're going to be editing uh, opened up here in on one photo raw. Now, this is another photo that I had took in South Korea, and as you can tell, it's pretty boring. There's nothing about this photo that streams Instagram worthy. And unfortunately, that's how most photos are <laughs> you really got to work on them to make them actually uh you know worth posting so yeah this is a pretty boring photo i had exposed to the sky there was no clouds no nothing up in the sky unfortunately and but i was it was shot on the canon 80d so it's no big deal because i can pull up the shadows and stuff without introducing you know major noise or anything so let's actually get started doing that first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bump the exposure by a third of a stop here let me just dial in 0.3 this grill is going to help out a little bit. Now the highlights, uh, even though the sky has nothing in them, I still want to kind of retain that uh, you know, color and stuff. I don't want to be looking blown out. So I'm going to drop this down to negative 50. Let me get that dialed. Not that close enough. And the mid-tones, I'm actually going to pull up about a plus 50. And that's close enough. That really balance out the image and stuff quite a bit. Now the blacks, I'm gonna pull up a little bit too. Just about a plus 10 on those. Yeah, let me get it down in there about 10 or 11, close enough. And you can see it kind of washed out a little bit. So I'm gonna pull up the vibrance also, about a plus 25, really pull out the reds and stuff, trees. Yeah, about 26, close enough. Now the contrast, I'm actually gonna drop about a negative 20 on here. Kind of give it more of a washed look. Negative 19 is close enough. Now that we got that done, uh, let's go down here and do some detail right quick. And let's see here. And I'm actually going to pull up the sharpening here quite a bit. I'm going to pull it up to about 70. Because this image just isn't very, very sharp. And threshold, I want one. There we go. That's going to add quite a bit of sharpening to it. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, noise reduction. Pull this here about about 10. Put the detail on 40. That's close enough. Color about 10. Now, also the detail around 40. There we go. Now that we got that done, we actually have a pretty flat image to work with looks pretty decent so far looks a whole lot better than what it did since start you know before and you know kind of after so we're working on it now let's go over here to effects and the first effect i'm gonna add is textures yeah we're gonna add some textures because that sky needs something a plain clear sky and eh, it's just boring so yeah we got textures and stuff here and on one photo raw and these really do help out a lot i am actually going to find the one that says nature I want to choose it and I want to go to clouds five and I thought that one looked the best on here now unfortunately it's going to add it to everything and this isn't the effect we're going for at the moment <laughs> so but what we're going to do here is we're going to actually going to change the uh, mode here change it to normal it's actually helping but I'm going to go up here and click on the little cog here at the top and I need to go ahead and set that to 100% while we're at it and I want to apply this, uh, to this just to the highlights and stuff. Now to do that, at first I'm going to go ahead and choose multiply. And you can see it kind of darkens it in quite a bit more. And I want to apply just to highlights. Click on that. And see that helped out a lot. And I'm going to run this down to about 31. And that's working pretty decent. It's going to be 4. 
and after the edit so yeah now we have a sky there that's actually not suck it <laughs> doesn't suck yeah so yeah that helped out quite a bit all right wonderful with that all right now we get that one done we'll add another one we'll add our curves yeah y'all know who i like to add curves and stuff to everything so yeah we're gonna pull up the curves here to about one and a half there then over here i'm gonna drag this over to about three three about right here yeah it works pretty good then about seven eight right here i believe it is i can get it right on there yeah now that looks pretty decent it's gonna add a real good washed out real matte look to it everybody likes the matte look especially on uh freaking instagram and everything <laughs> Alright, so now we got that done. Let's add another filter right quick. Yeah, let's add a glow filter. Now, this looks a little washed out at the moment, but the uh, glow filter adds a, an Orton look to it. So it's going to add a little bit of contrast to it. So that's the reason it kind of looks that way at first. So let's go down here to which one of those I use and charge more normal. Yeah. And you can see, add a lot of contrast. Kind of blurry though. Just easily pull back that opacity to 50. There we go. You can see, you know, adds a little bit more contrast back to it, which I kind of like. Gives it a nice, more dreamier look. Okay. Now we're going to add a vignette to it. All right. Go ahead and choose vignette. Find it. Good old big softy. Big softy, really nice. So let's get that one. I'm going to pull back the opacity on it to about 30. Yeah. Just a little sub to a little hint there. Kind of darkening the edges and stuff. Now we'll get that done. We're almost there. What we need to do now is go over here to local effects. Local adjustment, should I say. And we're going to pull up a gradient here. Just click on this tool at the top. Pull it up about midway. Somewhere about right there. And I want to pull this up to about right here. And that's close enough. Now, I know it says light in here, but I want to set the exposure back because I'm actually not, not going to use exposure. I'm actually going to just use midtones. And I'm going to pull up the midtones about a little bit more, about 20. Too much to make the grass and stuff stand up too much. But I think that works pretty well right there. So let's go right back to develop. Let's do another before and after. As you can see in the image, the people really don't stand out. They kind of blend in with the image, kind of add to it. Got a nice, good matte feel to it. Kind of, you know, like a good 80s look. A little bit of blurriness ordinate to the uh, trees and stuff to give them a dreamy look. And we actually added sky to it. So we went from a pretty boring photo to one that's actually Instagram worthy. At least I sure think so. Okay, so before we go, let's just do another little before right quick. You can see, kind of boring, kind of lame. Something nobody want to upload to something somebody would want to upload. Okay, everyone. Well, I hope this tutorial is very helpful for you to kind of give you an idea of what you can do with On One Photo Raw. Now, I am an affiliate with On One Photo Raw, and purchasing On One Photo Raw does help support this channel. So, if you're interested in On One uh, Photo Raw, then check my links down in the description below. But if you like this video, how about give me a thumbs up? Thumbs up so is highly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber to my channel yet, please take the time to subscribe. Subscribing is for you, and let you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.